trying to not have uh, any indication of what the bands are. Because no one sees tablets in these day, in this day and age. But we're going PS2, of yeah, course. Yeah, we're PS2. These players have definitely played each other so much. It's definitely a player oh. matchup at this point. This Stage is, being yeah. a, you know, not being the determining factor for sure. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. You're completely right. PS2 being one of the most neutral, pop, neutral, neutral, neutral stages for uh, like 80% of the cast anyway. Uh, no one really clear advantage here. Basically, Lucar has to work his way up the the tier list at this point because now Lucar's a D tier. All right, don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. I wonder what made Vivi uh, choose Lucario against the Rob. You know, I haven't really seen them play Lucario that much, so I'm really interested and curious to see you know how they're going to implement like mm -hmm. wave bounces, B reverses, just to kind of get around Rob and like right there going for the wave um, B reverse, the back air. Yeah, the biggest thing about the matchup is not even just like. Is Lucario better? It's just that the other characters that they play consistently, Hero and Terry, more uh, more notably, just don't do well against Rob. Rob, and specifically Dill's Rob. Honestly, let me, let me yeah. specify Dill's Rob. Yeah, Dill's Rob. Because even if Vivi can like you know farm you in pools, and it doesn't matter if you pick up Rob, Dill is a completely different yep. beast, and she's showing that off with that up air right there. Doesn't matter how you di that. Honestly, at that percent, you're just gonna get blown. Out. You're going to absolutely get like demolished. And the thing with Lucario now is that it's just that much harder to kill um, at such a low percentage. You have such little aura at your at your disposal. Um, you just do you do a little more work, and even even taking a bit trade just to get a little bit more damage to your name as well. You know, but Dill is just cooking, absolutely cooking with these with these uh these conversions he's getting off the platform. Go for the back here, honestly, and and you're right. Uh, I feel like Vivi has to find these specific scenarios where they can get like a back air or a counter nice. right there. And you know, the aura was building up, but at lower percents, like uh, you said, and I said, like you would have to find a very specific situation. But now that they have aura, they can come up with these conversions and already rack up 52%. Yeah, super, super good for Vivi just to get some even percentage going on here. Dill having to be a little, and Ashi absolutely needs to be a little bit more patient, find the openings that, uh, that she can kind of exploit with uh, when Vivi kind of either misses a counter or is in the middle of charging Aura as well. That's where Rob can really shine and start to do some gyro combos um, into some like, you know, dash tag, uh, fair, nair, yep. anything like that. that. Straight up raw up air, catching Dill, jumping, trying to go get over Lucario. And uh, at this percent, Lucario is extremely scary. We could see a quick snowball momentum effect. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Evie's going to have to play it safe, but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. As soon as I say that, a quick spot dodge up smash sealing the stock. I would say spot dodge up smash is a cheese option, but you know, you would you would never not use an option. If it works, it works. Simply Absolutely. Works. If it works, it works. We're playing the same game. Mm -hmm. If it works for one person, it's going to work for the next person, you know? That's the beauty of, of uh, having more patches. <laughs> <laughs> Trying it. Oh, wow. Air dodging into the platform, dodging that up there. Little string. BB's getting to that percent where, you know, they're starting to glow a little more blue. And when that's happening, just a dash tag, a few up airs. <laughs> this gyro proving to be a thorn in her side, though. And uh, absolutely, just a little bit more percentage going on for Vivi. And here we are. We have Lucar with basically almost full rage. This is, yeah, at this point, this is Aura's a completely kill. even game. Yep. You have to be very careful. That backer could have definitely sealed it. Not even. We're actually, I think Lucar is actually in a more advanced state than, uh, than Rob is. Just slightly, just because one, Aura is a humongous factor. And two, now that Vivi can actually use counter a little bit more. Uh, more safely and actually get a killing blow off of it because as you all know counter is based off of Phoebe's own percentage and not just how strong the attack that's being hit is It'll definitely shaking her head for not punishing that um, That up beyond the stage only getting a jab But that doesn't matter because when you're in this moment every oh. single interaction counts you have to be extremely careful not giving Vivi that jump. Very critical. Oh, this and might be it, yes. A back throw kill? Oh, no. No way. I, I was expecting an up throw or even like a berry. Right yeah, there. same. I, I was thinking of like an up throw, but I think whenever she does do up throw, she's kind of doing it on the platform, so she gets that extra yeah, length into yeah. the blast zone. Honestly, that back throw kill screen kind of looked ugly. I feel <laughs> like I've never seen that before. There it is. But this is the more, you know, normal yep. <laughs> up throw kill screen we're used to. And Dill taking game one, a very close nail biter game one, I will say. It really was only, you know, one Lucario back air, up air, dash attack. You mean any attack? Yeah, basically. <laughs> any, any attack. attack. <laughs> yeah, Lucario becomes Kazuya at this point. Let's, let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> but also, Lugar Lucario is such like a glass cannon, though. Like, uh, he's kind of like Mewtwo in that sense, just in the like, sense of like the. You do a lot of damage, but you can also die so easily. Um, just to, because things like Lucario's roll is so short, Lucario has a little bit of like. Um, 
sometimes and yeah. lag and things like it's just a lot I feel of like things his hitboxes too can be like too. a little like hard to land in general like if you understand like where he wants to place his hitboxes it's really hard for him to like land them mm -hmm. he's it's just he's smaller than rob yeah. it's just a, it's, it's a very precise character to play but the reward can be so okay. so worth it yeah that reward being when you're at a high percent mm -hmm. which vv's getting there uh getting to right now a little up tilt forward air forward air top air nice conversion right there See what adjustments Vivi's going to make this game. Honestly, it's uh, mo the best thing you can really do is just try to stop tank as best as you can. But when you're against Rob, nice conversion. so many of these conversions can just set up into a kill, and that's mm -hmm. really what cements Rob as a top tier. You know, just those rotor arms to edge guard you off stage, up air, the grab game, the down tilts, so many quick buttons. Yeah, for such a big, slow character that Rob is, Rob has a lot of quick options. One of them being the armor to falling out of it. Ow. Thankfully, the SDI out of it is so important because you don't. Oh, oh. there's too much delay of the punish, though. Yeah, yeah, couldn't get that. Couldn't find the F smash. Mm -hmm. That would have definitely killed at this percent. Even if you're Rob and you're heavy, this is Lucario once again. Or Kazuya. This is Kazuya. We're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're in S tier ranking right now. I can't even lie. The ledge situation, be very careful. You, you put yourself off stage, Dill. Don't let it b bite you in the butt. And Lucar is one of the few options, one of the few characters who actually can contest still up in the air and with that high gas recovery. So now we also you're allowing VB to charge up that big aura sphere that clips through ledges if your invincibility goes away. So oh, really good idea for waiting out the best the double counter. Team, but monster mash mm -hmm. by VB right there. Good VB vibrating. You can see VB literally <laughs> going crazy on the sticks to mash out of it. Oh, Unfortunately, there goes that stock, and now sense. we're going right back to zero. And now uh, you gotta wonder how VV is going to find this stock. Maybe Dill will help them out here. Oh my and god, rack on some percent. No, not finishing it off with the rotor arm, but that's nice. wow. Great force palm at the ledge. VV really needed that to find the stock, otherwise, would have been a lot more percent. Wow, possibly looking for more percent or just trying to get back on stage. But Dill calling that out. I think, I think they were trying to stall something out. Maybe trying to stall out uh, Dill coming off on stage, try to land for a dare, and then VV could go right around them and yeah. get control of, that, of the edge like that. But really good on Dill, really good awareness from uh, from her at least to stuff out VV's recovery off of the uh, extreme speed. Yep. All right, now we're uh, at that percent where Lucario's going to start, you know, racking up a lot of percent. Just one quick conversion, two quick conversions, I believe. this will be an even game. Really what Dill needs is to find one of those, you know, oh, that's huge. tried and true Rob conversions, you know, a, a Nair, possibly up tilt, but monster back air right there going to take out Dill's stock. No surprise, of course, I was waiting for that to happen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Once we, once he said, uh, once Lucar has that that rage going, that aura, we have almost all of his moves are just suddenly kill moves. It's beautiful to watch, honestly. Uh, I'm surprised Dill hasn't been able to catch any of these like uh, these high recoveries a little bit yeah. past the ledge with like a dare. Oh speed, my man. god! As soon as you say, it, wow, a great call out up smash of oh all my goodness. of all extreme speed angles to choose, and Dill corrects the or I guess the absolute correct one. That was amazing right there. The awareness you have to have to know that Vivi is going to do extreme speed once more and likely go to the, mid to the middle of the stage, and just going in with the up smash, you're raw for that. You're absolutely yeah, correct. Absolutely raw. You're raw. <laughs> <laughs> it's only half the battle to know that too. You have the time it as well. That too, because there's, there's a scoop like animation to it at, at first. Oh no 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 oh, no! But you're getting trapped okay, between the gyro. Be careful. You could just, you could pile on so much percent in that situation. But once again, this is Rob, so no mm. surprise there. Poking him in the face with that laser. Gyro game, yeah, both players just stepping back because they realize, you know, this last stock is extremely important, extremely important for Vivi, not letting this snowball out of control. They're at high percent, but honestly, I'm sure they're more comfortable here <laughs> right now. Oh, uh, this is where Lucaro, of course, thrives. You're faster, you have aura sphere pressure, you have pressure on shield, you have so many, you have force palm, you have all these options are able to even counter might even kill now just because how deep in the red you are. We're seeing the same situation as game one, but Vivi really... Again! Wow. I con you. I <laughs> <laughs> Calling out the extreme speed Beautiful. again. That's really what made Dill, like, you know, cement this set out or, like, win this set, clutch the set out. Look at Those this, look extreme at reads. Just knowing Vivi's only recovery option is on like. to the platform, and you have such a little bit of delay off of the end of the, the extreme speed that scoop, the delay of scoop can literally hit right at the same time. It's oh, beautiful. Yep, that was that was purely a call out, and just like knowing the player habit and knowing mm -hmm. what Vivi was gonna do in that situation, letting them get away with that, like during you know earlier in the set. But <laughs> this is you know game two. Dill just wanted to shut it out, close it out, and they did just that. Excellently. Excellently yeah. timed, excellent shield, you know, propping up and just, just getting it.
But that that conversion was great. That Nair, fa fast fall Nair into ch rising back air. Nice. Killing at 87%. Still reeling in their chair, but <laughs> not letting it affect okay, her. She's clearly. like, yo, that's crazy. I got hit by that. <laughs> it's like, no way. But then VV getting hit by, where is it? By, by two of them. Two of them. Yeah, twice. Well, Look one, at this. Bop. Not even scoop. He just straight up called out like exactly where uh, Vivi was going to be at that time. Yeah, she absolutely did. She straight up was like, I'm going to just pull out this big hitbox and you're going to run right into it. And she was right. So gonna extremely yeah. spe skedaddle, speed your way right <laughs> here. I like skedaddle that word. it into the oven.